Hey, what's up guys? Um, so in this video, we're going to be showing you how to use post CSS with Webpack. Um, I use post CSS personally all the time. Um, you can also use it in addition to your SAS, your less, your stylus, whatever your preprocessor is. Um, but I wanted to create a separate video for post CSS because it's a little bit different than using um, a preprocessor. Um, and also I'll show you some kind of like my favorite plugins and kind of how to set the, some of those up. Um, so again, probably shouldn't be a surprise at this point. We got to install a new loader. It's called post CSS loader. So let's do yarn add dash capital D post CSS loader. Okay. Um, then let's do, we're going to need a kind of like how we had a Babel config file. We need a post CSS config file. So let's do, let's create, it's called post CSS dot config dot JS. Okay, where is it? Post CSS config.js. Let's do module. Basically, what this is, we're going to list all the post CSS um, plugins that we want Webpack to use. So, module exports equals. And I'm just going to set this up right now, and then we're going to install them after I set this up. So, I'm going to use one called Rucksack CSS. And if you're wondering why there's an object after this key here, um, it's just if you want to pass in options. Right now, I'm just going to leave it blank for the time being. But this is like if there's special options or configurations per plugin, you could just stick it inside that object. Auto prefixer. Very handy, so we don't have to write browser prefixes anymore. And CSS nano. Um, I'll briefly describe what these are. Um, there's links again for all of these in the repo. So here's the post CSS loader page. Here's auto prefixer. Uh, I'm going to show you what this is in a second. Rucksack. Um, it's kind of like a bunch of utilities. Lost is a really cool um, CSS kind of grid. And then CSS Nano is going to minify all of our CSS. Um, so we're going to need to install all of this stuff. So Let's do yarn and dash D rucksack CSS lost auto prefixer CSS nano. Okay. And finally we have to use the loader for our in our webpack config. So under this CSS one, we're just gonna add post CSS loader. And then we're also going to add, this one goes above the SAS loader because we want the post CSS to be processed before any of this SAS stuff happens. Post CSS loader. And that's pretty much it. So let's just test it. So make sure you don't get any errors. Okay, that's good. Um, so to see if this is working, let's give a little test. Um, I'll show you, let's show you Rucksack. Rucksack is really cool. Um, my favorite thing is this responsive type typography thing. Um, if you just give whatever class or element you select font size responsive, it's basically going to turn it into this calc function. And so um, if you can see in this kind of GIF up here, the text is actually going to shrink in size as the browser width, you know, expands or contracts. So let's just make sure that our stuff is working. Let's see if we can do it this way. So let's just go. I'm just going to create some lorem ipsum in here. Uh, so here's our paragraph. And let's go into our, what do we have? CSS file. Um, if you're wondering what these red things are, this is just a linter I have on. Don't don't worry about it. Um, so let's just do a paragraph. Oops. Wow. Okay. 
Let's do font size responsive. Go back. Still got a blue background. So you can see it's working because now I've got my font size is this crazy calculation. So if I take my browser screen and I just shrink this, you can see. Actually, let me turn up that blue. It's kind of obnoxious. A lot better. So you can see the text shrinking and the font size changing as my screen expands. So that's pretty much it. That's how we use Post CSS. There's one other thing I wanted to show you real quick um, for the auto prefixer. So with auto prefixer, if you're not aware, hopefully you are. Um, if not, it basically it's going to add all the browser prefixes, so you don't have to add like special stuff for Mozilla for Internet Explorer, Firefox, and like all that kind of stuff. So um, we need to tell Auto Prefixer which browsers we kind of want to target and then to add those prefixes accordingly. Um, in order to do that, the best way I've found is just within our package.json, down here after our dev dependencies, we create a new key called browser list. And this is where we can add whatever we want to target. So we could do greater than you know, 1%, which basically means target all the browsers greater than 1%, and the last two versions for each browser. So only care about the last two versions of Chrome and Firefox or whatever browsers we're targeting. And again, um, that uh, information for the browser list can all be found here. I've got a link to it, auto prefixer browser list. And if you go here, this will give you all the different options of which browsers you specifically want auto prefixer to target. Um, so that's it, guys. That's how you use Post CSS plugins. If you want to know some more plugins for Post CSS, there's a website called postcss.parts. Um, I'll update this repo to add this in here. And this shows all the Post CSS plugins that you can use in your projects. So that's it. See you in the next one, guys.